back to the Hair I Wear for Wigs by Paddy'sPearls.com. I'm Lauren and I'm coming at you with my real hair today. Um, and the reason why I'm wearing no hair is so you can see the amazing difference a topper will make for sad thin hair like this. So let me talk to y'all all about the newest John Renault topper. This is from their 2018 fall line. This is the Top Full Synthetic topper. Now John Renault has had this topper in human hair, but this is brand new in a synthetic form. So if you were like me and love the ease of synthetic hair, you are really going to appreciate this piece. Now I've heard months ago from some friends who wore the top full human hair topper that this was a lot of hair. They love the volume and the coverage this topper gave them in the human hair. Um, but as we all know, human hair can be a little high maintenance. They didn't particularly love the maintenance. So when we heard John Renault was coming out with this topper in the synthetic form, we were super, super excited. And I was itching to get my hands on it to check it out for myself. So let me talk to you about this topper. Now this is very unique from a lot of toppers out there and that it is for advanced stages of hair loss so um, girls who have a lot of thinning or hair loss on the top but still have some hair that they can blend into a topper this would be a really great option for you and as you can see it looks like a full wig cap I mean this is a really large cap it is 11 and a half by 11 and it's going to fit on your head like a wig the only difference is you're going to be able to leave out your bio hair so you can blend it um, for a natural look um, in the front and you can also pull it back in a ponytail like you could with a topper. So let's talk about this base. Now this is a double monofilament top which is going to give you a really really natural part line. It's going to mimic the look of your own scalp. It has one, two, three, four, five, six pressure clips right here for a really secure fit and I really love that they put one here on top because this is such a full cap the um, the clip that's furthest back is going to be pretty far down your head so it's good that they gave you one at the top and in the back to secure it right onto your head so it's not slipping now this is a full hand tied cap there is no open wefting in here and because it's all hand tied there's so much so much swishy movement that it mimics the look of real hair so they did a really great job with this cap and this color is 10 rh16 so it is a very light brown base and then it has this um, heavy rooted highlight sorry not a rooted highlight just the heavy highlight to it it goes all the way to the roots and it has some face framing layers now this is an 18 inch length um, now months ago I started wearing the John Renault top top secret which is now the top style synthetic that's really confusing but when I was picturing this topper I was picturing my top secret just with a lot more hair and a bigger base it was the same color so I was really familiar with the way it was going to look so this was like a really big comparison for me to see how much hair was in the top full versus the top secret so I am gonna put this on for you and I'm gonna do it right here and show you how to get this on and blend it and all that good stuff now it took some practice getting this on and getting it in a spot where it was easily blended and felt secure because it is such a big cap so I'm literally going to put it on my head like I would a wig cap so I have to pull it down over the top of my head and then the tricky part is pulling out enough hair up front so I can blend it, but leaving enough hair in so this clip has something to grip to. So I have it about right here. So I'm going to go ahead and clip the front and the back. And I'm going to show you a minute in the back how far down it actually goes. It's a really large cap. All right, so I got my sides here. And then down here, right behind my ears, are where the other two clips are. Okay, so this is this is the way it looks when it's on. Now, for some reason, I had a harder time blending this one than I did my top secret. I felt like here, right at the rim, oh, there's my brush. They didn't give me a ton of hair to blend with. Um, and again, it's all kind of comparing um, to that top secret. So 
So you have to play around with it a little bit and get some hair to come out. We'll clip this back. Okay, so I think I have it blended. So this is what it's going to look like. And again, I may just, doesn't have to be perfect, but let's just get it all in there. Okay, so this is what it looks like on. So the shortest layer um, hits me just right below my chin. It's kind of a chin framing layer. And then the 18 inch is just a nice medium length right here. Um, okay, so first impression, just comparing it to the top secret, I feel like it wasn't as much hair. Now, the very first time I put on my top secret, um, it was so much hair. I remember taking a selfie and sending it to Emily um, and or my friend Emily and I was like, look at all this hair. Like, what do I do with it on me? It was like, Phew. like it was a lot. And she said, don't worry, don't worry. It'll calm down over time. So I was kind of expecting the same thing with this one just to be like really big and voluminous and having to calm it down. Um, but right out of the box, it did not do that, which I feel like is okay. Um, to me, like I said, it was just um, different than that top secret so this is what it looks like right I haven't worn this out I've worn it around my house and kind of played with it a little bit so this is what it looks like right out of the box which I think is great um, now before I wear this out I am gonna put some dry shampoo in it to de shine it because this is a little shiny um, for my liking um, I want to tone it down just a little bit with the shine and I normally wear it behind my ear like this and you can get a really great ear tuck. And because I have some of my um, bio hair out, it blends really well when I put it behind my ear. Now, my bio hair is actually a lot ashier. Um, I mean, sorry, it's a lot darker than this topper, but I still feel like it blends okay. It's, uh, it's not crazy dark compared to that lighter brown and I think it just looks like I have highlighted hair. Okay, so let me do a 360 spin so you can see where these clips hit on my head. So like I said, there is one clip right here in the front. There's two clips right here on the sides, like right above my temples. And let me turn here. There is a clip right here. This is my ear. And then there's a clip right here. And I'm going to turn there's plenty of coverage in the back, so my bio hair blends just fine in the back. There, the other clip is right here. It is down on the nape of my neck. It is really far down, but I can still get it back in a ponytail. Again, a clip here, and then all the way around. Okay, so that is the Top Full Synthetic. Um, John Renault always does a really great job with their synthetic fibers. This one feels really great. Um, it's not super, super silky, but it has enough texture to it that it feels like real hair. You know what I mean? It's not like costume wiggy synthetic. So I think they do a really good job with their fibers. Um, now with their synthetic pieces, they recommend that you wash um, with their synthetic hair care line. They have a shampoo, they have a detangling spray. Um, so anytime you wear this, you're going to want to pick through it starting at the ends very gently with a um, wide tooth comb just to get the tangles out and then go all the way through and detangle it and you can use some of that spray to help loosen the tangles and then she will be ready for you next time you wear her. All right, there she is. This is the John Renault Top Full Synthetic, 18 inches in color 10RH16. If you need her in your life, head on over to wigsbypattiespearls.com. All right, y'all, I will see you later.